Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional matcha. We're going to need, of course, a matcha jawan. We're going to need a chasen. This is a bamboo whisk made by Mr. Kubel. It has not been sprayed with anti-molding agents or any herbicides. I'm going to let it rest on a chasen naoshi. Keep its shape as it stand. You're going to need a sieve. This is going to break up the matcha powder, give you a much nicer texture. We're going to need a leveling off tool. Normally this tool is called a chashaku, it's used for lifting the matcha out of the natsume or the, the, the tea tin. Um, but for our technique, we just use it as a fancy leveling off tool. We're also going to need a measuring spoon. We uh, weigh everything, so you're also going to need a scale. And so the measuring spoon is more just to help speed up the process rather than something that we can depend on. Okay, <clears throat> obviously you're also going to need some matcha. We're going to use a single cultivar Okamidori by Mr. Fujioka, one of our favorites. It's in our eagle designation. You're going to start by preheating your bowl. You're going to place the bowl on the scale. You're going to tear it with the sieve on it top. Then we're going to take a level off leveled off teaspoon. Reason you weigh this is it can have variances as much as 0.5 grams, which is 25% of the total. Today it looks like I got 1.7 grams. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and brought it up to 2.1. We're in, within 0.1 gram of error. That's something that we're okay with. I'm gonna use a temperature variable kettle bring it to 65 degrees centigrade is our current preference. You're going to weigh out 90 grams for your traditional. You'd be using 30 grams if you're making yourself a latte. Traditional matcha, um, or at least what we call traditional matcha, you might find in uh, tea ceremony referred to as usucha, depending on which uh, discipline you're following. I'm going to whisk, while looking at a clock, I want to whisk for 15 seconds. So I'm going to hold it between the ridge and the black band, perpendicular in the bowl. Helps to actually get it off the scale there. And I do about three seconds of gathering in. Then I do five seconds of whisking vigorously. Now you can try and spill the liquid. A oh, good matcha jawan shape so that that's going to be impossible. And so trying to spill actually gives you a nice froth. Then about seven seconds, you'll see I've, I've, I've turned into integrating that froth. This will let me get those really nice micro bubbles. So you get this really nice foam on the top. Stop in the center. In our technique, we don't draw a circle as we feel that uh, drawing circles can potentially be hard on the whisk. If you want to check your, your, your foam, you can push it aside. Um, it, it needs to do something called repair, where when you push it aside, it comes back and, and, and uh, reforms. That's the sign that you got a nice froth. Froth isn't everything though. The 15 seconds is much more important. Weighing out two grams is much more important. Temperature is much more important. Um, and uh, though the froth though is going to give you nice texture. So I guess it depends on what you prioritize. Put your nose right in there. Beautiful aromatics. Mm. You want to drink uh, one third of the liquid let it hang out on your palate and you blow a little air out your nose. It's going to give you some really nice flavor clarity by accessing your retro refractory senses, the smelling sensors behind your nose. <sighs> there you have it.